week on Hot Scores, Grant Holt to Barca, fighting managers and karaoke queens. and how they managed to score so many goals without an obvious out and out striker. Well each country and footballing culture develops systems differently and players accordingly so. So when you have a system like Barca there isn't really any need to employ a typical number nine so to speak. Messi doesn't need to rely on services like say Grant Holt does to score goals. He creates his own chances by being just him and a very important part of the DNA at Barca squad. Could you imagine like Messi shouting and pointing for the ball? Um, I suppose over here we're conditioned to attacking play that relies on finding space and reaching a shearer type to produce the goods. Uh, through managers like Wenger we've become preoccupied with the Barca way and uh, as we all know it takes a pretty set, a special set of people to make it work. They move and receive between players whether there's space or not and that's what produces the goals, it's all in the system. If it carries on like this, we will soon be uh, playing football without any numbers or positions. Barca are now obviously best football club in the world after beating Santos. Who needs number nines, eh? I think force and double force, double negative number tens are far more interesting. At managers kicking off always brings a smile to my face. Much funnier than players fighting amongst themselves. We all know how easy it is to get hyped up before, during and after a game. And the bosses are only human too. Some of my favourites are Fergie kicking the boot at David Beckham's head, John Sitton balling out in the dressing room, Laurie Sanchez and his referees, and Jackie Charlton going nuts on the sidelines at USA 94. Uh, and as the king of touchline bust-ups, Mr I Won't Shake Your Hand, Arsene Wenger, always falling out with other managers and doesn't seem to be meddling with age. Personal favourite was the shop on Pardew in 2006. <laughs> Officials having to separate them and then getting fined I've searched high and low and there isn't a video online of Per Mertesacker singing Rihanna on a team building night out at a top like Mayfair spot. Damn it. Apparently he did a really, really good job of it and that beggars belief. I wonder what made him choose Rihanna. Usually karaoke's a bit of Elvis, Tom or Frank and that brings out the X Factor in people. But obviously Rihanna does it prepared. If you want to see real footballers singing, check out Robbie Keane, who loves a trap tune or two, or uh, um, R. Shavin singing live, <laughs> singing live on Russian TV, singing a kids' TV thing. Another thing that caught my eye in the news that made me quite very cross is Alex Ferguson telling his players not to give autographs anymore because he's sick of seeing them up for sale on eBay. Uh. Oh, the cheek of him! Oh, what is it? What's he doing? Not stalking autographs on eBay anyway. At Honkinson suggested he might be looking for a cheap midfielder. I'd say he want an expensive one to spice things up a bit in their midfield. He really is a miserable git to come out with something like that. It's not like you know United have never made a profit from selling on players. Come on, Fergs, don't you just don't pick on the little people uh, and stop them selling their signed memorabilia. Leave us alone. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting Twitter time with a moan. Yes, another moan. I'm sorry, Mark Lawrenson, Alan Hansen. I know it's Christmas, everyone's chilling out, but the punditry is so lacklustre and those Zinnica gags are oh no. I see a lot of people really hacked off on the Twitter timelines with the poor quality of analysis on the BBC. Hansen is on 40 grand a show and he, all he can say is, well, Chelsea are lacking something. Okay, well, um, he could have talked about that marked difference and how Chelsea operated without the nicely developing midfield micro combination of Ramirez, Mata Morales, sorry Frank, and how VS Boas definitely took his foot off the gas in the last 20 minutes. Well played Wigan though, well played. Love it or hate it, Twitter gets the news out the instant it happens. Uh, I want to wish Blackburn Scott Dan a very speedy recovery from his groin strain. Um, gro groin strain, groin injury, or more specifically his ruptured testicle. Mm. Yeah, well, so it's gone. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> I can't imagine what it feel like, but Scott, I'm sure it's horrible. Um, chin up, Rovers fans as well. Not every, you know, it's not going too well for you right now, is it? 
like Twitter, I'm going to point you in the direction of Arsh Avin's timeline. Uh, you know he can sing, but did you know he can talk about Shakespeare and psychology and his thoughts on female fans? For all of you who follow Tony Dorigo, you would have seen him digging into Yolandu during the City game. He said he thought Arsh Avin was in hiding in Siberia yesterday while his sister put in an appearance on the field. Uh, although Tony did explain his tweets quite nicely. His theory is that when a striker has a bad day, it's because a body double is stepping in for them. I'd say Fernando Torres might want a body double to put in a shift for him. Could help. I went to the Nopers last week and awards ceremony for bloggers, writers and podcasters and ended up sitting on Paddy Power's table as they sponsored the best blog, which I didn't win. I wasn't nominated, so that's alright. Um, but in bed with Maradona, they won it. And uh, well done you. The Anfield Rap won the People's Choice Award and other winners included Jack Lang for Best Young Brother. Very, very talented chap he is. You can see his work on ITV.com and he really is very, very good, as is Andy Thomas of Twisted Blood, who won Best Contributor. I thoroughly recommend you search the web to read their work. The Socrates Award for Outstanding Contribution Services went to the real FA Cup.co.uk and rightfully so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is Hot Scores done for another week. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and tweet me. Have a lovely Christmas. I'm hoping for Football Manager 12 in my stocking. Please, Santa. 12 year old football manager in your stocking is probably. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's anyone knows that Sports Interactive are the king of all Football Manager games. So don't expect to see me much for a week after Christmas Day. We will be back in the new year with more hot scores for your ass. My hack of the week is Lindsay Lohan, simply because she's looking incredible in her Playboy shoot. Check it out. Happy holidays, one and all. Oh yes. That was that.